Hello. Uh, this twenty uh, seventh of uh, October, twenty seventh of October, is a very important day, as I mentioned in the previous uh, previous like uh, message, <coughs> and I would like to request you to remember that uh, there are um, few months a year which we sh we if we could remember do virtuous actions is very powerful for ourselves and for everyone that is the first month of uh, of the lunar calendar first month which is known as miracle month and the second it's like a fourth month of lunar calendar is the buddha's uh, birth and uh, enlightenment and also like uh, passing away and the sixth month fourth of sixth month it's like the buddha's teaching day so what is this this month it's a ninth of uh, ninth of uh, uh, ninth ninth month according to lunar calendar ninth month to the second of the ninth month lunar calendar which corresponds on the 27th of october it <coughs> buddha's uh, <coughs> uh, like a uh, descendants from the heaven what is this 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 month and uh, It is uh, you know, it's, it, it is known as like a Buddha Buddha descends from the Dusheta. And so what happened is that uh, like uh, after Buddha was born as son of a uh, of a uh, King Shuddhana and uh, the Queen Maya Devi. The Maya Devi has given birth to Siddhartha, and uh, in place called Lumbini. And then, what happened is that. Uh, Siddhartha's <coughs> mother, Maya Devi, passed away after one week of uh, his birth. Then she was reborn. Maya Devi was reborn as a, as goddess in the celestial world. The world is called uh, like Tushita. Uh, And then, then what happens is that uh, Buddha was taken care by Maya Devi's sister Pranjaprati, took care of him throughout. And so he got uh, all the educations and everything, and then he had uh, this. Uh, incredible like uh, experience when he saw the sick people and also old age and death then after receiving permissions from his father when he was 20, 20, 29 years old Siddhartha left the palace though he had a wonderful life but he was uh, quite like felt very uncomfortable because uh, 
everything. Everyone who has a has a wonderful lives, but it's not permanent. And uh, he knows that how everything's changing all the time. So he wants to find an answer for all this, and he he left when he was 29 years old. Then he did a strong kind of a intensive research, reflection, meditation for six months and a very ascetic practice he did and then he lost his energy, he lost, he became very weak because he was fasting very strictly and finally he he took some offering from a, a farmer's girl called Yasudara, no sorry, and <coughs> not not Yasudara, Yasudara, and and then. He regained his health and everything, and then he decided really whatever happens, he's going to sit under the Bodhi tree. And then he, he got enlightened on the full moon of the Beshak month or full moon of the fourth month according to lunar calendar then he discover what is so called enlightenment and then he Although he was requested to teach, but he realized nobody would understand, and he remained and uh, and uh, proclaiming that I found something really most precious, something very profound, totally in peace, free from all kind of uh, um, conceptualizations. Then for 49 days he remained in silence. Then, of course, on the fourth of the sixth month, then at the request of many that he, he began to teach in he got enlightenment as everybody knows in the place called Bodhgaya and then after 49 days he he gave first teaching on Four Noble Truth and at that time Buddha was 35 years old then he realized that uh, amongst all most important person in the world is uh, someone who has given the, given the life that was like a Maya Dewey then he want to want to repay the kindness with his mother kindness with his mother from thirty uh, then he was like a, 
He taught from the 2035 uh, in for in for on for noble truths, and then at the request of many, then then later, until he was 40, 41 years old, he continued to teach on all kind of subject, and then when he was 41 years old, and he realized maybe he should. Uh, should go and teach his mother who was in the uh, Dusheta and he decided to to go to the Dusheta in heaven Dusheta <coughs> it's the garden called Kovi Dara, and he spent three months, three months in Dushita. He gave teachings to many, especially he he gave teachings to his mother. That when he was like. A, 41 years old. He went to Tushita <coughs> in the Yes, he went to Tushita. he stayed in Tushita for three months. Give teachings the Sutra which is known as uh, repaying the kindness of his mother. Then, as of all, over three months, Buddha didn't tell to anybody, neither his uh, close students, nor to his uh, very close students, such as uh, uh, King Bimbisara, King Sagyal, he didn't tell them, so they are very worried, and they they requested <coughs> the Buddha's most close students, such as uh, <coughs> Shariputra Shariputra with his uh, realization he could see where Buddha is as Buddha he discovered Buddha was in, uh, in Tushita so all the all his students requested to one of the principal disciples of uh, Buddha called Mokuliputra. He had incredible miracle powers, can travel in different worlds. So as they requested, as they requested, he went to Tushita on the full moon of the ninth month. He went to Buddha and requested Buddha that all his students request him to come back to the for the human world to continue to guide guide them. And Buddha accepted and then Ulmukli Buddha asked when he might be able to return. He mentioned he will be he will come back in one week. And that is to say to the second about ninth month, to the second ninth month. Then the Mogaputra returned and informed his students. Then at that time he they asked where 
of why he will appear, he mentioned. He will come back uh, to the place called uh, Sankisi, Sankisi, which is about 300, uh, 380 kilometers from Delhi, in the northeast, a place called Sankisi. And then everybody went there to welcome the Buddha. So it was a total miracle that Buddha, when he came down, all his students, the king, and especially like a lay male and female disciples, like a as well as like the monks, nuns, they could see, they could witness. But that came down from Dushita, appeared that he descended on the, the, the ladder, which has uh, like three parts. In the left side is the golden, golden steps, in the middle with the precious jewel steps, the right side, the silver steps, and uh, then in the in the golden step, the the Indra, in the middle in the jewel step, the Buddha, and the right side on the silver step. It was like the Brahma with all kind of offering like Paris, uh, like umbrellas and many music, many mm, like a go of God and goddesses with many, many kind of offering things they are carrying down. And they came down. Everybody, everyone could witness. And they were very, very pleased and then <coughs> then Buddha taught where is this place it's still known as Sankisi Sankisi in the north of Delhi the capital of India and uh, in the forest, the forest which is completely blossomed with many, many flowers, and in that place, Buddha came down from Dushita after giving teaching to his mother. So that corresponds on the twenty seventh of October. which is 22nd of, uh, of the ninth month according to the lunar calendar. So on these auspicious days, whatever we do, it multiplies when you could do virtuous actions by our body, by our speech and by our mind. It multiplies hundreds and thousand times. So therefore, I will request you on this auspicious day, that is 27th of October, please try to do, if you can, like uh, maybe to take like a uh, vow that if it's possible during during this month, but especially on the twenty seventh, twenty seventh, that you would fast, or maybe just uh, eating one meal before noon. If it's possible, if not, at least make a 
vow not to engage in negative actions by body, by speech, and by mind to purify all the hindrances and obstacles and sufferings of yourself and all beings. And try to, to practice virtue, saving lives and giving charities to poor people and including the animals and try to do some meditations if you, if you can to do the prayers for, for the benefit of all sentient beings the prayers, of course there are so many prayers we can do but as it's connected to the Buddha <coughs> Buddha's life and the chanting the homage to Buddha and the, like chanting the, the Dharani the mantra of Buddha, it is very auspicious. So let's let's prepare what we will say. The prayer, the refuge is very important. So let's let's chant together in order to prepare on the twenty seventh of twenty uh, seventh of October. Buddham Saranam Gachami Dhammam Saranam Gachami Sangam Saranam Gachami Buddham Saranam Gachami Dhammam Saranam Gachami Sangam Saranam Gachami Chanting this, please cultivate love, unconditional love for every sentient being, compassion, joy, and impartiality. So, all this, as you know, love is incredible, incredible thought. Especially when it, when we could cultivate unconditioned love, which will purify everything what is concerns like selfishness. And likewise, when you generate compassion, which would serve as the antidote over anger, aggression, aversion. Likewise, when we generate joy, rejoicing happiness of others rather than jealousy it is really very powerful antidote or thought and also like cultivating thought of all, impartiality love, compassion, joy all or impartial to everyone that will serve as way to purify like our neurosis, like pride, very, very kind of confused pride. And so, on the basis of that, also if you could cultivate like a thought of <coughs> generosity, discipline, patience, diligence, and concentration, and especially the wisdom. And 
So, <clears throat> if we can begin with the thought of benefiting all sentient beings, if we can chant these uh, dharanis with a calm, with complete focus without any distraction and we conclude with the dedication for all beings all beings are very important there's not a single being who has not been precious to us as our mother so if we could give birth to such a such a like a thought of love compassion joy impartiality combined with six parameters it really very powerful and beneficial for every one of us we can do this for for all sentient beings and so that it can bring peace to all our dear ones who, who suffered who are suffering who might suffer so dedicate for their benefit so I wish you all a wonderful day on the 27th. The Buddha, the descendants from Toshita after giving teachings to his mother. All my best wishes to every one of you. Thank you so much. <coughs>